everyone and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I am making gingerbread pie. brought this pie to Thanksgiving dinner this year and I thought it was so unique I wanted to share the recipe here on my channel. Now on top of the pie I'm going to make some eggnog flavored whipped cream and I realized that both gingerbread and eggnog can be very controversial flavor choices but they are quite seasonal and two of my favorites and I'm sure many of you watching enjoy these holiday flavors too. So let me show you how I make this gingerbread pie. I'm starting with a 9 inch frozen pie crust. Mine is deep dish, but it definitely does not have to be. I allowed this to thaw for a few minutes so it was soft enough to prick some holes in the bottom with a fork, and then I baked this at 400 degrees for about 10 or 11 minutes until it was golden. I wanted to mention too that the filling is thickened with cornstarch, so if you use a gluten free crust, the entire pie could be gluten free very easily. Next, I measured out all of my spices. So this pie calls for salt, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and ground cloves. I will link the full recipe with exact measurements for you in the description box below. In a medium saucepan, I'm adding a half a cup of brown sugar, a third a cup of white sugar, and a quarter cup of cornstarch along with all of the spices that I measured out. And right now the heat is not on, but I'm going to whisk this together just to get all the ingredients incorporated and get the lumps out of the brown sugar. Next, I'm whisking in two cups of half and half and then measuring out a quarter cup of unsulfured molasses and adding that into the mixture as well. I separated four egg yolks and whisked these in as well, and then it was time to turn on the heat. So you're going to cook this mixture over medium heat while whisking constantly until it comes to a boil. Then you'll reduce the heat to low and continue whisking for another minute. And you can see how beautifully thick this mixture becomes. The next step is a little bit tedious just because the mixture is so thick, but you're going to press it through a fine mesh sieve. So you want to kind of scrape it off the bottom of the sieve and then press it through from the top of the mixture over and over again until it's all pushed through. And this is to get any lumps of cornstarch or if the eggs scramble slightly in there, you're gonna get all of that out and you're gonna have a silky smooth pie filling. Lastly, you whisk in two tablespoons of room temperature butter. Then you pour the filling into the prepared pie crust, cover it with plastic wrap, making sure that the plastic actually touches the surface of the filling so that a weird skin doesn't form on top. It'll be nice and silky smooth the whole way through. And then refrigerate this for a few hours before serving. For the whipped cream, I started with one cup of cold heavy cream, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And you can absolutely stop there and just make some delicious regular old whipped cream. But if you want to add that eggnog touch, you can add a quarter teaspoon of rum extract and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now after mixing this together a little bit and tasting it, I decided to bump up that nutmeg flavor a little bit more, so I ended up using three quarters of a teaspoon total. I thought this eggnog whipped cream was fabulous, and I even used it throughout the week on top of my coffee and hot cocoa too. The gingerbread pie filling firms up beautifully, and in fact, it was very appealing to my kids because it was basically like a gingerbread flavored pudding. And my son Ben loves pumpkin pie, and he thought this tasted very similar, so I'm happy that this was a hit with him. And with the eggnog whipped cream on top, it was just so, so good. I think it's such a unique dessert that you can make for Christmas time this year. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my gingerbread pie recipe today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.